9596. Starting off with telephones. Definitely a lot more consumer. And mobile phones. Still the transportable type, but handheld are becoming more common. Now multimedia. The information superhighway. The internet makes its debut. Look at the modems. 14.4 bits per second internal modem. Or even better. And I think I got something like this at the time. But not from Dick Smith. 28.8k. $499. And that's about how much I paid for it as well. A lot more calculators, personal organizers and data banks. Lots of radios, cool shades in the bright pinks of the 90s. The Dick Smith Kitty brand. Bottoms of the page, they are blank. They've got rid of all the sayings. Maybe it distracts from the products. Shortwave, a great section explaining how it works. More shortwave receivers. But the hideous D2832 is still there. A lot more FM walkie-talkies. A bit better than the super regenerative AM things. On more frequencies like 55 meg. And these ones are on 27 meg FM. But there's the cheap ones here if you still want them. And then UHF-CB, the UHO-53. Only 16 channels, but it's a bit of a price breakthrough compared with the other handhelds. Some amateur rigs. FT890, that's what I've got right now. Bought it second hand. Not too many handhelds though, just one for two meters and a dual bander. And the SWR power meters. More handheld scanners. CB antennas, mobile one. Kids Zone, more kid stuff. Rechargeable batteries. 6.5 hours, finally coming down in price. NICADs, double A's. 500 milliamp hours. Can't see any nickel metal hydrides though. Talking electronics, smart security devices, $3.60, five more FM bugs, $3.50, as Dave said, an absolute bargain, electronic notebook, same thing. Now kits, Funray 1, plastic board instead of a wooden board. Discovery series, simpler kits, test equipment, still a good range, 80 meter AM CW transmitter, 100 milliwatts of AM on 80 meters, pretty useless if you ask me, stereo sound receiver, metallic text decoder. Now I built one of these, audio recorder, fantastic. Five more years, 2000 to 2001. 
Nice square back. We've got the powerhouse. Starting off with the phones. A lot more fax machines. And of course more mobiles. Printers, computers, scanners, cartridges, gaming, imaging, have a look at these radios again, a restroom radio, clockwork radio, sports radio, Shower radio and the micro radio. Now the Sony really knows how to make little radios. Amazing performance even on AM. The Jelly Bean TV in three different colours. Or Cool Shades toys. Now at the front of the shop you'd often have a bargain bin. All these return bits or obsolete stock or whatever and often a lot of cool shade stuff your keyboards your guitars your headphone radios either the kids treated them rough or they were of poor quality to the consumer stuff like nose and ear trimmers and a razor gift set a golf ball sweet spot finder automatic watering health products Look at all these batteries. All for cordless phones. And fog machines. Night vision as well. This was the year of the GST. The front pint at the bottom. The law requires all savings realised under the new tax system are passed on in full. Our prices take this into account. Sanjian receivers. ATS 909. The best of the lot. GPS's come in. The first and I think only handheld SSB 27 meg CB radio. The Mandara $382. A great set. Amazing what you could contact but not a very big seller. And then of course the other end of the spectrum the Uniden UH040. A wonderful set. $136, they quickly came down to $99 or less, and one of the great things about them is they had AA batteries, not AAA, AA, much more flexibility, much higher capacity of batteries, and better rechargeable batteries, so you had really great battery life. A classic, the Uniden UH040. Now power supplies, another classic, the D3800, linear 25 amp power, another classic, the D3800, linear 25 amp power supply, sold in their hundreds, basic stamps, and they started electronic Lego, Mindstorms, Meccano, Velleman kits, importing them from Europe, a lot of little kit, Playmaster stereos, you don't see them anymore in, in 2000. To your little kits. Ready built stereos are just too cheap. The Velleman handheld scope. A good selection of books. A lot of talking electronics still. Electronic notebooks. Five more FM bugs. Great book. Talking electronics issue one. You could still get it in 2000. And learning electronics. A great starter. But the book I started with was Basic Electronics, published by Electronics Australia magazine. And Home and Holiday Scanner Frequency Guides. Well, these days you just get it off the internet. Circuit board material, 150 by 150 millimetres for $5.16.
and 150 by 75 by $3.24. I'm sure it's gone up quite a bit now. An aluminium sheet, $10.75. That wasn't cheap then. PCB prototype board. 115 by 160 millimeters. You can build a lot of stuff on something like that. Vernier drive still there, but up to 2875. But there's a suspicious looking little star. Limited stock, not available at all stores. The beginning of the end for Vernier drives. Transistors, pretty much small signal power. Few RF transistors, 2SC3355, 6.5 gigahertz UHF. Quite good if you're building a UHF preamp or something like that, but no RF power transistors. Now, I didn't look at the previous catalogues for them, but you used to be able to get things like 2N3866s or 4427s. Might put out about a watt or so on VHF. You could get them up to about, you know, late 80s, early 90s, but no longer. So uh, for RF, something like a BD139, still available will operate at the lower HF section, but on VHF, you're pretty much on your own. You have to salvage stuff. It's the end of the 2000 catalogue. Enough of the past, now on to the present. This is a two-transistor WSPR receiver. Weak signal propagation reporting. Just two transistors picking up a signal and putting it into a laptop, which decodes signals from all around the world. Amazing! You couldn't have done that in 1981.